estamos atravesando una crisis que no es solamente económica y financiera, sino que es además social, cultural y especialmente sanitaria. Y esto es la resultante de un modelo productivo capitalista que produce con veneno sobre la base del monocultivo y la superexplotación de la naturaleza de la que somos parte. The summit would actually have been an ideal opportunity to take stock of nutrition as a social indicator, as a social determinant of health. The potential health consequences of what is going to come out in the Food system Summit. Monocultures will become the way to produce food by big corporations. Monoculture requires more land, so it's not only my guess, but it's going to lead to land grabbing, making displacements of peasants, and of course increasing their poverty, and that affects their health and nutrition. Small-scale farmers in Bangladesh are producing a large number of crops, uh, including rice, lentils, vegetables, fruits, everything they need for their food security and nutrition. However, due to the imposition of modern agriculture with uh, chemical pesticides and fertilizers, nutritional qualities of food has been lost. Uh, they are actually not trying to help the farmers to produce nutritious food, which they can easily do, but they are actually trying to industrialize uh, nutrition and industrialize the food production. It's not only the world's food system, it's, as you very well know, behind it, the World, world Economic Forum that has been pushing industry to get more and more involved in this spurious process of the Food Systems Summit. Ideally, that is what the UN Food Systems Summit should have supported and uh, uh, enabled in, 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 much, in many ways and should have consulted all these different local communities. They have appropriated the language, uh, like they would use words like uh, global health or equity or stakeholders or partnership. Uh, but that's just a front and uh, if you actually scratch the surface, you'll realize what a huge corporate agenda is there. The next things that worries me, which is the poor people consuming more and more ultra-processed foods, and which we call junk foods. This, of course, is very well studied in terms of how the consumption of these products lead to non-communicable diseases, hypertension, obesity, diabetes. It's a caste and corporate nexus that is operating in India. The Eat Lancet Commission uh, which was uh, funded again by corporates, um, brought together a report which they say they worked over two years and it has 37 commissioners from different countries. Food Safety Standards Authority of India actually uh, facilitated the release of this report in 2019. Um, India is, shows the way forward for a plant-based diet, for a vegetarian diet. And first of all, India is not vegetarian. Clearly, in India, there's already a caste structure in place, which is pushing for a very plant-based, in the sense of a cereal-heavy or a millet-heavy diet. Uh, we can see that across the different social sector schemes related to food. There is um, a culture of denying eggs to children in schools and midday meals for the most unscientific of reasons, which clearly comes with a caste uh, prerogative. The UN Food System Summit, uh, with their plant-based agenda, is actually buying into a very uh, a politically charged and uh, socially concerning situation that is already happening in India. Por eso, repudiamos la reunión de los sistemas alimentarios, que es más de lo mismo, 
convocado por Naciones Unidas, donde van a participar los responsables de esta crisis, que son los, el sistema transnacionalizado, concentrado monopólicamente en la producción de alimentos, sobre todo. This is not what we need for solving our malnutrition programs. En defensa de la vida, en defensa de la salud, tenemos que convocar a una contracumbre, como lo hace Salud de los Pueblos, donde afirmemos que la alternativa es la producción familiar y campesina y los principios de la soberanía alimentaria para conseguir alimentos para todos. And uh, we should reclaim our diversity, our local food cultures and our traditions. And that is um, coincidentally also environmentally more sustainable and eco ecologically more sound. Make the Food System Summit fail.